Hey guys, Jeeps here, and welcome to the Firefall beta. Yeah, that's right, it's something that isn't Terra. Are you surprised? It's been a while, I know. I finally have to stop being lazy and just, you know, editing all that footage I did from the open beta. Especially since Terra's, you know, been out for a week, you know, out of beta now and everything. Uh, I'll probably bring more of that, but that's beside the point. We're here to talk about Firefall. So, uh, so what is Firefall? Firefall is yet another upcoming free-to-play shooter involving jetpacks. Are you noticing a theme with games I like? Hint, the theme is jetpacks. I love jetpacks. Everything should have jetpacks. Really, just everything. Uh, but anyways, it's not Tribes, though coincidentally the lead designer for Firefall is the lead designer for, I believe, Star Siege Tribes and Tribes 2, so the original two Tribes games. So that probably does explain the jetpacks, but it's an upcoming free-to-play shooter from Red 5 Studios, and it is going to be an sort of an MMO FPS, though I think you can play it in third person too. So combining the kind of general MMORPG genre with first person shooter, this has this isn't a new idea, this has been done before, but Firefall looks pretty promising. It's got a cool art style, it's kind of cell shaded, and I just got a beta invite from a cool friend of mine, so I figured, hey, let's let's check it out together. So I haven't really played this yet at all. I know some base information about it because I've been following it a little bit. This game looked pretty exciting to me from when they first started releasing footage on it and when some other people started doing videos on it, and I was really anxious to check it out, so I'm glad to have the chance. I have created a character and I have logged in mostly because the game doesn't let you edit your video settings until you're actually in the game. So I went in and got all that sorted out. Got all the audio sorted out. Hopefully this sounds okay. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's dive in, shall we? I'm pretty excited to get going. We're, uh, we're at the Copacabana. Let's go to the Copacabana. Kind of like these loading screens. I don't know why. They're just... I guess it's just... They've got a cool layout. They're kind of just future looking, and BAM! Here we are! And, uh, we're surrounded by a bunch of other people. Uh, and, yeah. I love this cell shading. And, I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm meant to be doing. But I'm gonna guess, guess that waypoint over there. Right over there, that's where I'm meant to be going. And, whoop, oh, lag. Sorry. We're still here. We're still here. Proceeded to waypoint one. Uh, where's waypoint two? Okay, over there. This is probably kind of the tutorial, but yeah. Got jet boots, actually. It's better than jetpack. So I guess tribes is both. So we have to go to this sin uplink thing. Pretty much, if you care about plot, the base thing is you're pretty much like a mercenary captain. You land in this place and you have to go, like, link up to a little information terminal. Blah, 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 blah. It pretty immaterial, I'm sure. But yeah, let's, let's go do that so we can get to shooting things. Because that's, that's what we really want to do. How do I, how do I interact with you? E! Oh, I have to hold it down. Okay, cool. Thanks, tutorial tips. That's it. We're in. Now we can see all the traffic in this area and receive messages in Copacabana. Alright, open up your map and, oh! Oh, that is a cool map. That's the range of this in power. The more power we find, the more of the map will uncover. Awesome. I'm directly packed so I can see what you see. Cool, that's kind of creepy, but sure. Uh, this is Ratchet in Copacabana Engineering. Ooh, sounds like we got a mission. Water's been cut off. We need somebody to inspect the aqueduct valves that carry the water from the moisture farms. Can you help? We have to help them. I can absolutely help, especially if you pay me. Moisture farms in this area. If this one goes down, Copacabana won't have any water. We need water. We're on it. Thanks. Please hurry. All right, so water valves down there. Right now, I am playing as the assault class, which I kind of figured was just kind of the general, general class. This game is class based, you know, probably kind of like you'd expect. And I'm not actually sure exactly how you change classes. I know all these little icons. They're kind of these little hot icons. Those are people of different classes. I'm assuming this tutorial will show us, so we'll just stick with the assault for now. Uh, controls-wise, it kind of controls like you think. Uh, left mouse button is your primary fire, which I probably shouldn't waste ammo. Which is a big explodey thing if you're, uh, playing the assault. And right mouse button is your secondary fire. Kind of nice little burst fire rifle. 
So, just like you'd expect, they use the same ammo, as you can see down there. Each burst counts as one. Jetpacks work about like you'd expect. You can see right around my reticle there, there's that yellow bar that decreases. That's your energy bar. As long as you're not jetting around, that recharges. So let's head to the water, the water valves. Blah, blah, ah. Get words getting away from me. You can also hold shift to sprint. You know, sprinting's always good. And uh, let's see what's going on over here. Whoa! What are you? Alright, we get to shoot things. And these guns are crazy. This is awesome. Holy crap. I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. You dead? He's dead. Oh, whoa! Who keeps shooting me up into the air? Is it this that? Oh, whoa! So we gotta turn these valves off, and this is a lot of dudes. Okay, this is this is kind of awesome. I mean, I'm a sucker for jetpacks as it is, but it's not the same as tribes, and I'm not meaning that in a good or a bad way. It's just that's my main jetpack shooter experience. I think I can go into first person. I should probably look how to do that when we're not uh, getting shot at. So let's see, class-wise, I think that is another assault and then a medic. Always good to have a medic around. It might not be an assault. I don't know. Can I turn this off yet? One yes. Alright, hmm. how are we doing on ammo? We're still doing pretty good on ammo. Let's help these guys out. Since they're also new. And I believe we have some sort of special abilities too. So let's see, let's find some more enemies and let's try that out. I believe if I hit Z, we get special abilities. Oh god! Okay, we can do that. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm I'm a fan. Let's reload. I don't really know where I'm meant to be go there we go. This way. We have to kill twenty of these spider bastards. So let's get to shooting, shall we? This is great. Man, I am really enjoying this. Oh shit. Ah, so many. Need to reload. This is not going well. Ozzy's in a pickle. There we go. Yeah! Eat it! Yeah! Just think of that. Oh, wow, we are not doing so well here. You take a lot of damage in this game. Are you the medic? No, you're not the medic. Where's the medic? We've got a turret. That's always good. So we got. An, I'm guessing someone around here is an engineer. Who? Okay, reload. What are you doing on ammo? Okay, I'm doing pretty good on ammo. Pretty well on ammo, even. Sorry, I, I enjoy grammar. Ah, yeah. Oh, explosive. I should, probably should have read that. What is this? I do something with this? No. Alright, well, there's gotta be more of these spidery bastards. So let's track them down. I like how... I mean, I'm guessing this is just because of kind of the tutorial area, and there's a bunch of other new people around, but I kind of like how this group just kind of happened. I'm assuming you can group up kind of normally, too. Ah, here we go. Here's some spidery bastards. Yeah. Yeah, get over here. This gun is awesome! I can't wait to see what some of the other classes are like. Assault is great, though. But, uh... So far... This is pretty satisfying. Ah! Uh, ah! And not all that easy, given it's, you know, just a tutorial. These things hit really hard, and I'm probably being dumb. I've, I've been known to be dumb when it comes to games before. But... This is a lot of fun. 
Alright, where are the rest of these spiders? Come on, spiders! I need to end you. Everyone else is killing them too quickly. They probably should be in a group. That would make this better. Okay, there's more nests over this way. Is that health? Kind of just ninja that health from that dude. I hope he doesn't mind, but I don't really care if he minds. Because I needed it. Come on, where are more of these nests? We got spider bastards to kill. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't think so. Come on. Come on, there's more of them here somewhere. Oh, whoa! Whoa! No! No! Huh. Water, water everywhere, but not enough spiders to smash. I guess we're just killing them too quickly, and there's go. Oh, there they are. Get them. Get them. Ah, uh, yeah, like a boss. We're gonna just talk to Ratchet. All right, so we gotta go back and talk to that person. Uh, where are you? You're over there. Yes. I think that means we completed the mission. So we gotta get the water flowing again. So we we killed all the things that were harassing the water lines. What is was this? It's an auto turret tech point. I'm guessing that's for engineers. Let's just fly up here with our fancy jet boots. And oh, well, Ratchet's up there. But here's the battle frame station. So I was just dumb. I just didn't know where it was. Battle frames are this game's classes. I mean, they're classes, but the thing is, they're pretty much classified by their armor. So you've got Assault. It's what we're playing right now. You've got, you know, kind of the rocket launchery thing and the submachine gun. Engineer, I'm going to assume it's turrets, a repair gun, and some sort of gun. Recon, which is your sniper rifle. Medic, it's a medic. And then Dreadnought, which has a big, stonking minigun. I... I'm actually going to switch over to Recon for a bit, because Recon seems like it could be fun. So let's do Recon. So we've got secondary fire is just the ability to zoom in with our sniper rifle. And we have significantly less health. But it feels like we're also a bit quicker, and Jetpack might use less energy, I'm not sure. But this should be fun. It's always fun to mix things up. Though I was enjoying Assault quite a bit. Well, let's go talk to Ratchet. Let's see what she has. She would see. See what she has to say. Ratchet was a she, right? Yeah, Ratchet's a she. All right, Ratchet, I'm calling. I'm calling. Ooh, vendors, come back to you. All right, friend. Ah, I really chewed this thing up. Yeah. The MPU is ruined. I'm gonna need some silicate fragments to make a new one. I detected some silicate deposits down by the beach, but we're going to need something to get to the silicates inside. Here, hmm. take these sonic detonators. I was saving them in case the Chosen invaded, but you can use them to blast open the silicate deposits. Alright. We get to mine with high explosives. My kind of game. This is my kind of game. Where are we going? That way. Alright. Our fancy little recon suit, being all swift. I'm a silicate deposit nearby. Do you see it? Oil spill here. Target the deposits with your sonic detonators, and you'll extract those silicates right out. All right. So target them with the sonic detonators, which apparently is mapped to four because that's our tech ability. We also have an ability mapped to one, which I'm not sure what that is. We'll find out in a minute. Let's sonic detonate these. We've got our first sweet, sweet silicate. Going to need more if Ratchet is going to fix the aqueduct MPU. The melting has ruined everything. I can't believe the Aegis is still four light years away. Whoa! Oh God! Not sure if want. Whoa! Okay, this thing hits really hard. But not. Sure is really well equipped for this. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. It works pretty well as just a rifle. Huh? Oh god. But I wish I had like a pistol. Do I have a pistol? Oh! Q switches weapons. 
Now I feel less incompetent. So we have a submachine gun too. Thank goodness. We'll keep that up for the moment. Sonic detonate you. We'll go back to snow. Oh god. No we won't. Oh goodness. Recon suit may have been a bad choice here. Because I'm incompetent. But uh, let's get the silicate. We maybe have this. Two out of ten. Thankfully that's already respawned. Let's back up to... Kill you. Because we can. Alright. Ooh, we got some Coralite Ore, too. I have a feeling this is pretty much just... The How to Mine Ore tutorial. Because we were seeing these all over the place earlier. And, well, now we know what they do. And I tried to even mine them earlier, but I didn't know what I was doing. And obviously, I go... Blah! Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh god. I'm not good at no-scoping, or shooting, or video games in general, really. Whew. Whew. Ooh. I picked the wrong frame for this. So, uh, you guys might watch me die soon, because, um, I'm really bad. Wait, oh, is this a health station? Are you free? You are. Oh, it's the best. We're good. We're good, guys. So we need... Uh, how many more silica deposits? Six more. Jeez. Well, I think you guys pretty much get the idea of this. Uh, this is just going to be the mining tutorial. But so far, the little bit I've played this game, I think this is going to be a pretty, pretty sweet game. I'm probably going to do some more videos on this beta. I mean, as long as I'm in it. There's no NDA. or Well, there was, but it lifted... Middle of April, beginning of April, right around there somewhere. So, it is good for me to record whatever the heck I want. So that's always, always good to know. And, uh, yeah. I did a little research into the free-to-play model they're planning on this game. And good news is they are definitely planning on going the very inoffensive route for this. So, you'll be able to pay for, a, you know, new skins and experience boosters, which... Or whatever they might have an equivalent of experience boosters. They just said progress boosting items. Which means no straight up buying power. And I am always okay with just being able to buy an experience boost. That is, in my opinion, a completely fair way to implement free to play. Or freemium, or whatever you want to call it. Because it's not a straight up buying power system. Pretty much as long as you're not just straight up buying power. I think free to play is a fantastic model. And, well, skins are a great way to do it, because they're just aesthetic anyway. They have no in-game effect. So, yeah, that is good news. I am glad to hear Red 5 is going down that path. But, yeah. I've been Jeeps. This has been Firefall Beta. We'll be coming back to this, guys. This is really cool. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I will talk to you guys later.